Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. In A New Hope, after Luke reluctantly declined Obi-Wan's offer to travel with him to Alderaan to hopefully reach Bail Organa and help Princess Leia, Luke set off for the Lars homestead, leaving Obi-Wan in his hut to dwell on what had just occurred. As Obi-Wan sat there, however, he was visited by someone very familiar, someone he wasn't expecting. It was his old master, Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon appeared before Obi-Wan as a Force ghost, and the two Jedi soon began to discuss several things that plagued Obi-Wan's mind. But what exactly did the two of them discuss? For that, let's turn to the short story Master and Apprentice from the 2017 canon novel From a Certain Point of View, which provides insight into Obi-Wan's conversation with his Force ghost Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. For starters, Obi-Wan informed Qui-Gon that he feared for the safety of Luke and worried that the Empire would soon descend upon him and his family, but Qui-Gon helped assuage Obi-Wan's fear, assuring him that Luke would be okay. Qui-Gon knew this because, as a being that had become one with the Force, he was able to see Luke's future through the Force and knew that Luke's journey would not soon end. Feeling relieved, Obi-Wan went on to tell Qui-Gon that the hollow message he received from Princess Leia requesting his assistance made him feel hesitant to up and leave Tatooine and the roughly two decades spent on the planet behind, as he now knew his time in exile was finally coming to an end. Like a great mentor, Qui-Gon let Obi-Wan know that his feelings of uncertainty and unease were not without warrant, since the Jedi Master had spent nearly 20 years laying in wait on a harsh and unwelcoming world that had become his home. Divorced from his previous life prior to Order 66 and the Jedi Purge all those years ago. But that's exactly what made Obi-Wan a truly devoted and exemplary Jedi Knight, Qui-Gon explained. Anyone can fight in a war or use a lightsaber, Qui-Gon stated. But to have the fortitude and patience that Obi-Wan demonstrated during his time on Tatooine, that was a far greater accomplishment than Obi-Wan could ever know. Obi-Wan then explained to Qui-Gon that the hollow message from Princess Leia also reminded him of Padme, as well as his failures with Anakin. Qui-Gon, however, insisted to Obi-Wan that it was he who had failed him by placing the burden of training Anakin, a child so old, so strong in the Force, so unaccustomed to the Jedi ways, upon him before Obi-Wan had even been knighted. Though the thought of his former apprentice's fall to the dark side stung and hurt Obi-Wan, he responded to Qui-Gon by stating that Anakin ultimately had the training and wisdom to choose a different path than the one he chose. Qui-Gon agreed with Obi-Wan, at least in part, although he didn't feel it absolved him of the mistakes he made with both Anakin and Obi-Wan. Before the two would part, Obi-Wan informed Qui-Gon that he had decided not to tell Luke the whole truth about his father, about what had truly become of Anakin. Qui-Gon affirmed Obi-Wan's decision, telling Obi-Wan that, had he told Luke the whole truth, it could have planted seeds of doubt, confusion, or even anger in the boy, which could have led Luke down a similar path as Anakin. The two Jedi then said their goodbyes, with Qui-Gon knowing that, in due time, he and Obi-Wan would meet again as two beings that were one with the Force. Master and Apprentice is such a fantastic short story, one of my favorites in From a Certain Point of View and one I'd highly recommend. Obi-Wan has dealt with so much loss, pain, and sadness over the years, and reading the conversation between Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, where Obi-Wan's anguish is discussed, made me feel all the damn feels, man. But what do you guys think about Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon's discussion? Did you know the two Jedi Masters talked before Luke and Obi-Wan would set out on their fateful adventure? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.